We're making chocolate. We're making actually a cocoa evaluating product. We're making cocoa powder, cocoa butter, cocoa nibs, uh, then a chocolate. Island is our branding name, which means island in Bishlam, local language, my own national language. We have chosen island because we thought that uh, it was much more representing us because most of the product from, come from the islands, whatever it's uh, small-scale producers, women's group, uh, artists. The beans come from different islands, so five different islands of the archipelago. So we got Epi, Malekula, Malo, Santo and Aore. Getting product mainly from the northern part and central part of the archipelago. So where we have different community groups, women's groups, uh, producers groups. So that's all the different ingredients we're using then actually to uh, achieve the chocolate makers. We opened the chocolate factory one week before the cyclone pan. Then we closed for one year <laughs> because of the cyclone. So we have to wait for all the plantation to re rehabilitate it, re rebuild the, the factory. Then we came back into commercial activity in 2016. Our chocolate is good. We receive awards for a gold medal for best dark chocolate in the United States. So we are quite international awards now. It's vegan, but also we don't use any added cocoa butter. So it means that it's only two ingredients chocolate using cacao and sugar. different, actually stronger, because we don't have any fat, so it means that we don't have any reduction of the flavor. All the flavor of the cacao are very strong. products on these ships are normally pro Australian products, but to have a product from Vanuatu on board is, is, is a testimony of our uh, partnership with the Australian government and of course uh, with the PNO. And I think there's plenty more opportunities for, for us to explore and uh, to, to get some of our products from our farmers uh, to, to the boat. What you're doing is showcasing Vanuatu to the world. Uh, and you're doing that on this ship, so we're very grateful for everything that you do. Uva and his team will show how they turn your beans into this magnificent dessert, which we will actually get to taste afterwards at lunch. So I believe we've uh, power to show you how we uh, make uh, that cake. Basically, it's, it's a three-layered uh, cake with a uh, very fluffy uh, chocolate sponge. Then uh, we soak it with a sugar syrup, which is uh, uh, half water, half uh, sugar, and uh, quite a lot of garmanie. Sponge and the mousse uh, are quite cold, so you really can spread it evenly. It's very rich, very dark, so it leaves you a lot of flexibility what you can do with it. Chocolate and that's your creation. We never look only make them miss a pink say only all miss a look on mixed cake lost to be a mere way direct from the uh from the cocoa nips only only just check them out from the cocoa nips where we will have producing through the bean we active and we keep him then direct only tiny we call a machine you come one chocolate. Uh, not, not chocolate, but uh, cake, you can want cake. Well, it's an amazing uh, experience, uh, actually seeing our, uh, our cocoa beans uh, on board the vessels and having a taste of it on board the vessel is, uh, is a true, truly lifetime experience. And I must say I'm very proud 
for all that participated in the in what we witnessed today. Oh, I must say, I can have one more this afternoon, one more tomorrow. It's delicious, it's so nice. I think everyone would uh, love to have one with their cappuccino in the morning. It's a wonderful experience. We wanted to reach uh, this huge market. They're coming to Vanuatu for a while now, visiting a lot of islands, bringing a lot of uh, Australian tourists to Vanuatu. And uh, we, think, we thought that it was a good way to try to uh, advertise for our product and also reach some uh, export market. Mm -hmm.